Hi, welcome to my video on uh, factoring by grouping, part one. This is the first video on the factoring number two. Factoring one was done earlier with all the videos. Now I'm going into uh, factoring number two, which is the ex extension onto the earlier factoring. And this unit will take us into uh, grade 10 and 11. You need this in order to do quadratics and cubics, etc., etc., in the next courses. Let's start. Recall the first rule of factoring. Remove the monomial GCF if there is one. The mono, the, my first rule of factoring is remove the GCF if there is one. And some examples is 2x plus 3. 2 is common to 2 and 6 as a factor, so we take 2 outside. 2x divided by 2 is x. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So that's the factorization. To factor means to express as a product. x squared plus 7x. x, there's no number common because there's a 1 there and there's a 7 but there is an x and we take the smallest exponent which is 1. So x squared divided by x is x and 7x divided by x is 7. And in this one we have a 10 and a 15. I see a GCF of 5. 5 is a common factor to 10 and 15. And I see an x is common and but the smallest exponent is 2. So 2 is the smallest exponent and that is a f in the x cubed. So 10x cubed divided by 5x squared is 2x and minus 15x squared divided by 5x squared. 15 divided by 5 is 3. x squared divided by x squared is 1. And again, if you multiply uh, by distributive property, 2 times x, 2x, 2 times 3 is 6, that's checking. x times x is x squared, x times 7 is a positive 7x. And 5x squared times 2x is 10x cubed. 5x squared times negative 3 is 15x squared negative. Recall a binomial is an algebraic expression with the addition and subtraction of two different terms. So notice each of these up here are two terms, you cannot add them because they're unlike, and it's an addition sign, or you have two terms separated by an addition sign, or these are two terms separated by a subtraction, and you cannot add these because they're x cubed and x squared. This is an x squared and x, you cannot add them, they're unlike terms. And some more examples would be 4a minus 3, or we could have 7 y squared plus 2y. So these are two terms separated by a plus or a minus sign and you cannot add them. They're different terms. And we could have uh, 4x plus 6a. So that's binomials. These are binomials, two terms separated by a plus or a minus and they're different. State the binomial GCF of each. So if you look in these two, you got this one and you have this one. The binomial is x plus 2. Sorry, x plus 1. x plus 1 is the binomial in both of these. And the next one, the binomial is x minus 4, x minus 4. And in C, the binomial is 4a plus 3, 4a plus 3. Notice we're taking out the binomial GCF. The binomial GCF, both of these are in each of these expressions. Factor by removing the binomial GCF of each above. So in A, the binomial GCF is x plus 1. x plus 1 is common. So we put the x plus 1 in a bracket. And in the other bracket, well, if you take x plus 1 and divide it into this expression, you get an x. If you take x plus 1 and divide it into this expression, you get a plus 4. 
notice you can almost cancel out the x plus 1 to get an x, cancel out the x plus 1 to get a plus 4. So notice x plus 1 is being multiplied by x, right there, x plus 1 is multiplied by 4. Number 2, the, the uh, binomial GCF is x minus 4, so we put x minus 4 in the bracket. What goes in the other bracket? Well, x minus 4, what's left? 3x. x minus 4 cancels out, and we get a minus 5. So notice, x minus 4 divided into this expression is x minus 4 cancels, and I get a 3x. x minus 4 divided into this expression, and I get a negative 5. So x minus 4 times 3x, right there x minus 4 times negative 5, right there. And C, the binomial GCF is 4a plus 3. 4a plus 3 goes in a bracket. Now, what goes in the other bracket? Well, 4a plus 3 divided into this expression, you get a y. And 4a divided into this expression, you get a plus 7. Again, 4a plus 3 times y, there it is, 4a plus 3 times plus 7, there it is, and we have it factored. Now, what this means is that you factor these, practice, factor by removing the binomial GCF of each. So, pause the video, work all these out, and press play to see if you're going to get them right. The binomial GCF in number 1 is a b plus 2. When we take out the b plus 2, we get an x. Take out the b plus 2 or divide by it, either way, you get a plus 4. Number 2, the common GCF in this expression is e minus 3. When you divide each of these expressions by e minus 3, you get an a. When you divide this expression by e minus 3, you get a plus 7. And number three, the common binomial GCF is x plus 4. x plus 4 is here twice, so that's common. And what's left? We get a 5y and minus 8. Notice, if you divide this expression by x plus 4, you get 5y left. When you divide this expression by x plus 4, you get a minus 8. Number four, the binomial GCF is f minus one. And when you divide this first expression by f minus one, you get a 6t. When you divide the second expression by f minus one, you get a negative 11. Remember, think of it as canceling out. When you divide and you take it out, you cancel out, you divide, so that becomes a one. So that's what's left, 6d minus 11. Number five, the common uh, binomial GCF is C minus F. If you divide the first expression by C minus, sorry, C minus W, you get an H. Divide this expression right here by C minus W, you get a plus five. Number six, the common binomial GCF is Y plus 7. y plus 7 is right here and right here. When you divide the first expression by y, y plus 7, you get a k. You divide the second one by y plus 7, you get a minus 9. And number 7, do we have a binomial GCF? Yes, a minus 10 and an a minus 10. So, a, sorry, a, b minus 10. So you Take out the a, b minus 10. When you divide this expression by a, b minus 10, you get a p, v. When you divide this expression by a, b minus 10, you get a plus d. So, we have reviewed taking out the binomial GCF. What I'm doing now in each of these first four videos I'm uh, factoring by grouping, and as you can see, uh, 
I'm doing one part, one step at a time in the process because I believe that you should explain what you're doing and base it on the background uh, content that you did learn. So, hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, click the like button, click the subscribe button. If you're not a subscriber, click the notification bell because there's more videos coming your way and write a comment if you wish. And visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com and the sections on me talks about my degrees and teaching experience. The section on video talks about the strategies you're going to use to help you learn your math. And the content section has the topics and the number of videos on each of those topics that's going to be on my YouTube channel. And what's in black font, it's online right now. And what's in red font will be there in the near future. Thank you for viewing my video. Bye-bye.